I'm going to share this one because it seems they're gaslighting us. About Australia's lockdowns are going viral on TikTok. On July 11-21, Australia announced... Videos are falsely claiming a totalitarian government is taking over Australia. US troops are invading the country, getting tens of thousands of views on TikTok, and young users saying the app's algorithm is allowing the content to flourish. Number of TikTok currently going viral. User Grab and New South Wales Health Minister Brad Hazard describing the as a NWO in a press conference in July. The NWO is baseless conspiracy which says there's secretly emerging totalitarian government. Hack was not suggesting Mr. Hazard was promoting the, when he used the words, another TikTok which has gained more than 130,000 views shows footage of US tanks battleships raging on the beach and falsely claiming that they're arriving in war. No, that was Operation Talisman Saber. It goes on every year. They do them all over the world. Same like Germany and Russia training in the late 20s, early 30s. Same thing, war games for the upcoming war. Another, uh, after being presented with the videos by Hack, TikTok launched an investigation on Thursday. The app said it had taken down videos and questioned and banned accounts which posted them. Mitch, a young Australian from Cairns, signed up to TikTok for fun videos, but the Axe algorithm eventually showing him content. Mitch said it started with one TikTok of National Senator Malcolm Roberts sharing or even debunked misinformation about the... Then it was the and video saying, don't. And I was pretty taken aback, Mitch told Hack. I thought it was just nonsense, and to be honest, I just swiped past on it. A joint investigation by Triple J and Hack, Four Corners, found that the algorithm is exposing new strangers to dang dangerous content through the app's For You page and an endless stream of personally created videos for each user. The more you like videos, follow an account, or watch a TikTok video until the end, the more the algorithm learns, in theory, what you want to see. Mitch says it took about 30 minutes for the algorithm to show him videos involving misinformation and he says he reports the video to the platform where he says he's not interested in them. The sort of content is not going to affect me, but it's worrying that it could affect someone else a bit more pliable. Content is hand-delivered to users on, unlike social media platforms. US research organization Media Matters has found that when a user follows one far-right account, TikTok algorithms suggest another of other similar accounts to follow. This is uniquely harmful because of its potential to further radicalise people instead of these far-right movements and it doesn't even require users to seek them out. TikTok hand delivers the, the movements to its users, many of whom are 14 younger. Media Matters have found there are many videos peddling the, on TikTok with this about, I can't say these words, the algorithms will just struck it down, struck it down. Unlike other social media, TikTok have no power over which content they see on their For You page. They can't unfollow accounts which are serving them harmful videos. This also means a user with very fellow few followers can go viral. And researchers have said it makes it hard for them to track who's posting content on the platform. Individual videos can get picked up in ways they don't other on other platforms and go viral without a person needing to be prominent within the community or having a big following. It makes it extra difficult in the disinformation because we're not having to track large figures or we're also having to figure out what's going on because of a viral video can come from anywhere in ways that it can't go on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. TikTok says it doesn't permit misinformation that causes harm to individuals, our community or the larger public record regardless of the intent. The app banned a number of videos on the platform including Alex Jones, a prominent purveyor of the violence, sometimes racist theories. Users can't search for his name. It's banned works aggressively to stop spreading on the platform, proud partner with health experts and go on about your data but hey Facebook does the same and sells it so I mean Facebook is an alphabet company created by DARPA. The day LifeLog program ended was the day Facebook started so you're pretty silly for joining it. In Australia they're even serving warrants on Facebook. But then people go, if you do enough wrong, you've got nothing to worry about. It's your privacy. So it just goes on running people down. Now, I'm going to show you what these people are talking about. It's not just one um, health minister saying it. It was all over the media. All over the media. And then you have these companies like Qantas displaying... Um, Mason logos on the on the covers for the jet engines and all that and did last year so 
it's it they don't want the misinformation I go to share it it will not load or play so I'm gonna have to redo this and edit it and hopefully it'll work so I'll, I'll I'll add this to the other one. I've already recorded on the laptop. I have to do this one from the phone. The um, media is saying that um, it was just a, a slip from the, the the health minister, Brad Hazard, or something, saying that the, um, the OWN say it in reverse is um, it, it it's it's doesn't mean anything is what they're basically saying so i'll play these and show you the rest so i will have to pause i'm sorry because if i play it in full it'll get struck down okay. what the new world order is so we're leading by example on social and that's what the new world order is so we're leading by example on social distancing did you get that because it wasn't just the health minister saying it's all over the media and that's what the new world order is. So we're leading by example more like this from now on. Because this is the new world order is. So we're leading by example a lot more like this. <laughs> and that's what the new world order is. So we're leading by example on a lot more like this from now on. Today is the first full day of the new world order. So this was on Channel 10. Today is the first full day of the new world order. It depends on whether we're religious or not. It's the first full day of the new world order. There were many. Um, you just Google it, Australian TV. Try it in your local area. Have you checked? I know a lot of people don't watch the news, but have you checked? And we know March is their, their go-to day that, that they like to do this sort of stuff. World order. Is what's coming up. The new world order. Our army comes marching in, partnering with police to help enforce the country's tough new quarantine so did you hear that? Up. The new world order, our army comes marching in, partnering with police to help enforce the country's tough new quarantine law. So it's not just Brad Hazard, the health minister, saying it. The source was just seven news. Place the new world order. So this was on news.com.au. Australia's place in the new world order. The world is changing. It is changing fast. A group of international business elites with oligarchic origins continue the manipulation of society in hopes of transforming the world into a vision of Orwell's dystopia. Yet their media keeps saying their no. Media theory. It doesn't happen. That's what the media says. Uh, new world order, new, this new world of COVID. We must treat this new world of COVID even in our own homes with a high level. Uh, now this uh, new world order, new, this new world of COVID. We must treat this new world of COVID in so our own this, homes this is the with one. a high level of care and caution. Uh, now, we must treat this uh, new world order, new, this new world of... Yeah, that was just an extra one I saw on it. So, reporter Steve Hart from New South Wales TV station 10 first reported in Australian views today is the first full day of the NWO and he dutifully reported the draconian lockdowns and loss of freedom for one pound and free citizens. The new world order... Today is the first full day of the New World Order. Outdoor gatherings are limited. Today is the first full day of the New World Order. Also, the New World Order that will come into force at 12 p.m. at midnight tonight. New restrictions on various businesses, David S. <laughs> Seven News bringing... Here's what's coming up. The new world order, our army comes marching in, partnering with police to help enforce the country's tough new quarantine law. Changing and it's changing fast. A group of international business elites with oligarchic origins continue the manipulation of society in hopes of transforming the world into a vision. Got it in a home situation. And we'll hear more detail. Uh, uh, now got the virus. Got it in a home situation. And we'll hear more detail about that in due course. But it is uh, both a safe place and a dangerous place. We must treat this uh, new world order, new, this new world of COVID, we must treat this new world of COVID, even in our own homes, with a high level of care and caution. Uh, now, Did you get that? Did you hear it? Listen again. We must treat this uh, new world order, new, this new world of COVID, we must treat this new world of COVID, even in our own homes, with a high level. Changes include the family. Homosexual marriages will be legalised. Parents will not be allowed to raise their children. State will, women will not 
will be employed by the state and not allowed to be homemakers. Divorce will be seemingly easy and monogamous marriage will be slowly phased out. The workplace, the government will become the owner of all factories, but production, private ownership of property will be outlawed. Religion will be outlawed. Believers will be either eliminated or imprisoned. There will be a new religion, the worship of man and his mind, and all will believe in the new religion. The United States will play a major role in bringing it in. The world wars had been fought to further its aims. So look up that book, Ralph Emerson. Epperson. This was shown in the um, Brisbane Career Mail. This is patient X of the Brisbane Cloud. So has anyone, has this, he has a story that will not only terrify but also anger anyone caught up in the lockdown. But do you notice the UK power? And here are the major corporations playing part of it. This was when it first happened. Few people noticed it, but the media brushed it off. This was a Qantas jet in Sydney, I think it was. This is when I want to show people that go to the dentist and love to have their teeth perfect. Do you know that your teeth glow under a UV light? Go into a nightclub with it and smile. You'll all be having these teeth just glowing. Oh. So you can tell she's got her two front teeth, the rest are being covered or capped. When you're self-conscious about your fake tooth, not lining up in the club, but you remember Pitbull has been there. Oh yeah, did you know that? Yeah, McDonald's has a PS5 for a full K cam. What they want people at Woolworths to wear with these contact tracing. By all team members, agency casual visitors, conductors or drivers to wear, visibly wear this device while on site. The device is worn on the pole or wristband, says such men, basically. This is the reason Sky News Australia was shut down. I'm not going to say the words, but this is what got them banned for a week on YouTube. YouTube. This is what was said.